Earth's rotation is slowing, and this could cause major earthquakes. As NASA reveals, Sean Martin Express UK, Earth's rotation is slowing because the moon is moving farther away from our planet. Scientists believe this could cause major earthquakes in the future. Earth's rotation slowing down as our planet uses the energy to keep the tidal bulge ahead of the moon's orbit. The moon's gravity keeps Earth's rotation in check, and to do this, the lunar satellite orbit must be slightly ahead of Earth's. And as the moon attempts to regulate Earth's rotation and slow it down, the moon moves slowly away. Now, in one of the videos we just posted a few hours ago, we talked about the planetary alignments and how the moon, on a regular monthly basis, has effects on not only the water, the tides, the water, the ocean tides, but also the crust of the earth, the, the earth tides. So it's not just the water tides that change, it's also the crust of the earth that moves. Now we have this problem to deal with. According to Matthew Funke, the Solar System Ambassador for NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, he wrote in the question and answer website Quora, he says, the moon's gravity creates a tidal bulge on the Earth. This bulge attempts to rotate at the same speed as the rest of the planet. As it moves ahead of the moon, the moon attempts to pull it back, and this slows the Earth's rotation down. One of the rules of the universe is that angular momentum cannot go anywhere, even if individual pieces speed up, slow down, or change direction, the sum total of angular momentum cannot change. The Earth loses angular momentum when the moon slows it down, so the moon has to gain it, and it does, by moving farther away in its orbit." End quote. And he explains, the moon is currently receding from the Earth by about one and a half inches every single year. This could lead to major earthquakes down the line, he says. The slower rotation of the Earth leads to stronger, more frequent earthquakes. Exactly why this is the case is unclear. Experts believe it could be down to changes in the Earth's core, which ultimately has an effect on the surface. Or it could just simply be the Earth's crust, the uh, Earth tide, as, we, as they call it. Researchers from Roger Bingham, Billum, uh, University of Colorado in Boulder, and Rebecca Bentick of University of Montana, studied the earthquakes with a magnitude higher than seven since the year 1900. They found five years since the turn of the 20th century where there were significantly more magnitude seven plus earthquakes. All these earthquakes, which were years at the Earth's rotation speed, had slowed down slightly. Professor Billum said in these periods, there were between 25 to 30 intense earthquakes every year. The rest of the time, the average figure was about 15 major earthquakes a year. So as you can see in the periods where they had the Earth's rotation speeding up, there were twice over twice as many earthquakes of seven magnitude and above. They say the correlation be between the Earth's rotation and the earthquake activity is strong, and it suggests there is going to be an increase in the number of intense earthquakes. Intense meaning strong, meaning over seven magnitude, which is very big. And let's remember from what they also tell us, the uh, bigger the earthquakes and the more big earthquakes we have, they will bring up more earthquakes as well. Now, they say this is not exactly expected to happen for billions of years yet. According to physicist Paul Walorski, who explained this on the physics platform Fizzlink, he says the slowing rotation of the Earth results in a longer day as well as a longer month. That's been projected to happen once the day and month both equal about 47 current days, billions of years in the future.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.